Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Muhammad Hisham Abu Adma. Today I will take you through PlanX Excel tool. I release version 4. We have a very useful tool that will support any planning engineer daily work. Also, if you are project manager or cost control, you can use it to facilitate some work for you. If you're already familiar with the tool, you can navigate from the below chapters to know more about the required function. So let's see how to download it. To download it free, just click here, add your name, your company, your email. This is very safe, just to track the downloads, and you will get email including the Excel file. Also in this section, you can send for me your feedback if you have any issue. When you receive the file, you will find a normal Excel file, but when you open, you will find this tab Linux Excel tool. And I really advise if you want to use this tab in any other Excel file, you can save it as add-in. And to do this, go to File, Save As, from here, select Excel add-in, and keep it saved in in the default place and just click save then open any excel file go to file option add in and from here excel add in select planet excel tool enable and you will find the tab here if I close this file and reopen any new file again, you will find it here by default. Now we know how to download it and to fix this tool in our Excel. Let's see how to use the file itself. The first tool we have is coloring using WPS. It's very simple that you can, can simulate the Primavera WPS coloring by just copy the data. Control A, Control C from Primavera, and paste it at the first cell here, Control V, and by one click it will be colorized. Very simple, very fast. This is the first tool we have. The second tool we have is grouping the WBS or the activity as per the WBS. As you can see here, uh, you can make a group as per the level and we have this also in Excel by just click on grouping and it will work very similar to Primavera but please notice that due to Excel limitation we can group uh, only 8 levels whatever more than uh, the eighth level it will be under the previous WPS. This is the second tool we have here. The third tool is drawing Gantt chart, and this is very interesting because we have many options under it. If I select draw Gantt chart, you can choose between monthly and weekly. Also, you can add the dates. Like if I select this one, I can select the format of the date. The first one is this one, the second and the third. I try to uh, provide the most famous uh, way to see the dates. Uh, so you can choose from it. For now, I will select the first option. And I can select the color for the WBS. For example, I will select red. And for the activity, I will select this green. And as you can see, there is a very wide range of color you can choose from. And notice here, any activity has actual or get A or constraint, it will be removed. So I can draw the parachute. Okay, draw. Select the start date, the finish date. And very simple, you will get the monthly bar chart. If you decide to remove it, just click delete all bar and you can 
draw it again selecting different different color and different dates okay now I want to uh, draw it weekly I will delete this one and select from here weekly I can use the old color draw chart start and finish as you can see now it's weekly basis if I need to change something I can delete all the bar and redraw it again without any dates draw start and finish now without any dates this is a third uh, function we have okay I will talk about this tool at the end because uh, really it's very useful and we will talk more about it but for now let's talk about this fast tool which related to uh, the text okay for example I have here spaces and sometimes I need to trim it uh, if you want to do this before you have to make a new column write formula and apply it but now by one click just one click here trim you will get this message because if you select all the column uh, the tool will try to trim all uh, the cells till the end but better to select only the range you want to trim and then trim ok it will be very fast what else usually or sometime we need to uh, make all the word our case also to do this before in excel you have to make new column and write formula uh, upper and then your text but here just select the text and click upper or lower or proper case it will capitalize every word and if you decide to only make the first letter capital you can select me from here also and sentence case it will capitalize the first word only what about the uh, fell down we will come to it now for example if I have this empty places I need to fill it with the WBS related to it I can uh, just select this one and click fill down okay it will work like uh, the power query if you select uh, fill down the same function so whatever the value before it it will take it very simple very easy by just one click okay we cover now uh, these tools which for me I usually use it uh, in my work now we will talk about this section when you pasting the data from Primavera uh, this number it's fixed so if you change anything for the activity it will not get submission here it will not be dynamic it's static and to do this you need a lot of work to apply this for all of your sheet especially if you have a huge schedule so I provide this tool for you which I think will be very helpful if you creating BMS file and I create this column just to, to, to see the difference when the tool it works okay I will click on submission level I select this header okay for the first while you, you think nothing happened but uh, let me try to change this value to 4000 what change here change here change here change everywhere related to this activity it's very like primavera so now you have a tool make your file dynamic with your modification if you are familiar with uh, uh, BMS 
the process of creating BMS could take uh, a lot of time. As I said, I create this tool to simplify and support the planning engineer work. Now we have the coloring, grouping, this submission. I add this tool to create the BMS in one click. Let's see how to do this. I will click create BMS file. Very important to read the following. You have to add activity type column like here. Of course, you have to get the start finish and you have to get the plan or plan unit or plan cost, whatever the uh, measurement or the way to measure your progress. The second thing is this uh, tool now is work for the linear distribution. So if you assign a curve for your resource or your activity, it will not get the same result plan over time. The second thing, this tool consider one calendar assigned for all the resource, but this you can change it if you have a calendar here, you can later change the formula and I will tell you how to do this. This is a very important thing you have to know. And also, if you want to use a resource with a curve, then you have to go to copy uh, the resource assignment distribution and make some formula like X lookup or match an index. I will cover this in another video. But for now, I will talk about what this tool do for now. Okay. Uh, here, uh, this is, a, is a, the available weekend, and I think this cover most of the countries. For me, I will select 16, which is Friday. Okay. Here, let's select the activity type. And start. Finish date column. Plan labor unit or plan cost, whatever. Uh, the unit you use okay and give it time wow it worked for me in second of course it depends on the number of activity you have so let's see what we have first i copy i let the tool copy the plan labor unit you have here your original data and you have here the modified why i i did this because sometimes the submission could not work for many reason uh, activity id without uh, letters or something so uh, at least you have uh, now way to make sure that this submission is work right and the grouping and coloring work right so if you get the same value that mean everything below is okay the second thing earned unit this one this one you have to choose later to write it manual or get it from the actual the remain duration the remain duration here is the difference between these two dates including the weekend that mean here I have 18 working days not calendar days and this 16 is what you select as a weekend because this project is a Friday weekend consider the Friday is a weekend so I get the same number and if you try to follow it you will found it work perfect because of uh, I select the right weekend when I start the tool schedule duration this schedule is the same function but it work dynamic how? I have this project start 1 January and finish by uh, 2nd of April and here is the current data date the current data date by default will select the last day of a project but if I decide to change this one to for, uh, 1 March for example 22 it will change the schedule duration and when it changes schedule duration, the plan unit will change also, as you can see. This plan is submission of all of the activity.
So by this date, all of this activity is supposed to be done or has a progress. Submission of this will give us this number. This is very important because you cannot do this uh, WPS wise. You have to do this activity and submission this to WPS. The previous quantity, this is a normal. <coughs> The, the next column is a normal column for uh, the BMS. So if you have quantity, you can add one column for the quantity and start get the actual by quantity. I keep it for you. If you don't, if uh, you don't want it, you can delete it. The plan previous plan current plan cumulative. Also, this one is a dynamic. If I change this date to uh first of march you can see here the plan will change the next day or week or month whatever the interval you use to report just click uh, just copy this data and paste it here and in another video i will tell you how to do one micro just to click it every week and it copy all the data okay the actual, the actual here, I leave it to you. You can enter here manual or you can make your formula by quantity or by earned unit. So I leave some work to do by you. <laughs> it's, I think this is easy. You have to choose the way, you have to choose the way, uh, the most, you have to choose uh, the most suitable way for you to update your progress. Some project uh, you have you will get a quantity, and by uh, updating the quantity, you can reflect it to actual and earned unit, or you just uh, you only update the actual and get the earned unit. The variance is between the, uh, the the actual and plan also. If you have another calendar, you can select or add one column for calendar and just change this to, for example, here like this, control F and change from 16 to, for example, 14. Formula sheet, okay, replace all. It will work very good. In this video, <clears throat> I think uh, I tried in this video to cover the feature and the new feature I add to uh, Planic Exit Tool. I think I have to make another video for the BMS. I will explain it more, how to use it, and the tips and tricks in uh, this tool and another tool. If you need to know uh, more about it, just click here and it will open a YouTube page. Uh, showing to you how to use this tool. This is my personal page. You can know more about the tool. You can check our training course Power BI for Planning Engineer. And from both, you can download a construction daily report using Power BI or some background. You can use it for your report. Know more about the Power BI. Also, you can contact me here. If you have any problem, just click here and it will open the mail. You can send to me an email with a snapshot explaining the issue. I hope I cover this one good. If you like this tool, uh, you can tell your friends about it. Subscribe for my YouTube. And uh, also you can send me feedback uh, with any modification or a tool. Uh, it could help you in your daily work. This tool is free. So enjoy using it. Thank you.